Good evening guys and girls and a welcome. It's Thursday Live. Yep, yeah, it's Thursday Live. And what we do tonight guys, we've got to do a bit of sorting out. I've been sorting out today, but I'm still at it I'm afraid. Uh, you can only have so much crap. You can only store so much crap. And I've got to get rid of some of the junk I've got because some of it really isn't worth saving. So I'm going through the drawers. I've been through the top one. And that should really contain uh, tubs with valves in, uh, tubs with resistors, and small things like that. Uh, it shouldn't contain empty, it shouldn't contain tone arms and bits of wire and transformers, motors. None of that stuff belongs there. Hello, uh, Clarence. Uh, happy first day live, everybody. Yes, happy. I hope, you had a, I hope you had a good day out yesterday, Clarence. I hope you're having a good day today. I need to, need to bust up a couple of CRT tubes to get rid of them. Do you know what I did years ago, me and my dad? Because uh, I, I, out of all, what I, did, I used to go around buying tellies. I just, I, I, you know, I'd pay some like five pounds a telly. If it had a remote control answer, I'd give a tenner for it. <coughs> no matter what the age, what it was, uh, the only things I didn't bother with much were Philips. Um, but any, pretty much anything else I'd have a do at. And eventually, I fixed what I could. I scrapped all the bits from what I could. Hey, evening, Harvey. Scrapped all the bits from what I couldn't fix and uh, all the unfixable stuff with bad tubes. And what we did, we just dug a big hole in the garden, we buried them. We took, took, the, took them out of the cabinets and we buried we buried the CRTs in the back garden. And we burnt the wood on bonfire night because tellies were made out of wood back then. Watching the documentary about Mike Tyson. Well, I suppose somebody has to. Uh, yeah, he's a nobody now, isn't he, Mike Tyson? He's had his day. Uh, he did what he did and he did it good. But yeah, he's, uh, he's, he's uh, what do you call it now, isn't he? Hello, Mike. Uh, evening, Andy. Blue no uh, Blue no My wife and I. I can't read down with a bad cold, so I don't know how long it'll last. I will last. Uh, yeah, you know, that's the, that's the trouble when you live with another human. You both go different places, and when you come back, one of you has got a fucking a germ from somewhere. One of you has picked up a fucking disease, a virus, an infection. Some along them lines, and you infect the other one. That's the good thing about living on your own. You don't have any of that. Yeah, take, obviously take care, mate. You and your wife, obviously. You know, uh, I think you're only a young couple, aren't you? You get through it, no problem. Uh, I rang Racing Demon Mike today, but couldn't get through. I just got the answering machine, so. I'll leave Mike now, I'll ring him Tuesday instead. <coughs> I'll ring him back Tuesday. Um, but what we're doing tonight, guys, we're actually, uh, we've, got, uh, uh, we've got, we've got to just sort my drawers out, really. And we're going to just have a chat. You know. Yeah, get well soon, Mike, obviously. I should have said it first, but I didn't. But get well soon, obviously, you know. Uh, I, know there's a, I know there's a lot of it going about. But that is one of the reasons why I live on my own, guys. You know, because that way, you know, you can't really... Uh, <laughs> Good evening, good evening, access all areas. Access, access area six. Good evening, my friend. Yeah. 
Oh, you're welcome, mate. No worries. No, whatever I find out, somebody's got a virus or something, I'll ban them from here. Hi, Matt. Hi, Mark and everybody else at the four, and Bernie and everybody else at the four wheels wobble household. And hello to everybody in Brum, obviously. And, uh, Right, so what we're doing here guys, we're going through my drawers. Uh, we'll go to all views, we'll go to all the cameras. Because I'm not going to be on a certain one. Uh, so what we're doing, we're going to be going through my drawers. We're going to be having a look into my drawers. See what's in my drawers. And uh, I might see stuff in there I've not seen for a long time. Have a look in my, who wants to, who wants to look into, who wants to have a look in my drawers? <clears throat> Doesn't sound right that does it? Who wants to look in my drawers? Yeah, it's going about Mark. I remember years ago, me and a load of my friends, we went to the Labour Club up here. There was a Meat, Meat Loaf tribute band on uh, back in the early to mid, early to mid 2000s, if I remember rightly. And uh, he had this big fucking, uh, he had this fucking big motorbike on the stage. It was only parts, so it wasn't a full bike. You could tell it wasn't a runner, there was bits missing off it. Uh, and he said, he said, who wants to sit on me chopper? And every fucker burst out laughing. Who wants to sit on me chopper? Yeah. Hello, hello, Richard. Hey, I've not seen you for a bit. Yeah, are you going to go born this year, Richard? Are you going to be joining us at the old goblin, as uh, as Joe from Odge Nodge calls it? Are you going to be joining us at the old goblin? Uh, the gold barn. Uh, the more the merrier, really, because uh, if attendance is dropped, we'll lose it, and we don't want to lose it because it's great. You know, you have a good get together. Okay, yeah, it's only from from ten a.m. till two p.m. or thereabouts, but <coughs> you know, you, you know, you have a good walk round, or sit down and get a brew and have a good chimwag, you know, people who you've not seen all year. I would draw, uh, would draw George, uh, would draw George Christoph is getting on, because he's not been on for a while. If you're watching, George, I hope you're okay, mate. Yeah, so, so four wheels wobbles got the man flu. Yeah. Unfortunately, I think I will be unable, unable to, but we'll see. It would be nice if you could turn up, it'd be a laugh. Uh, it's always a bit of fun, you know, if you can get there, yeah. You know, anyone who gets there, we have a bit of, a bit of fun. Uh, but yeah, we're going to move over in a minute. Uh, what's Harvey saying? He's wrote an essay, look. I have actually sat on the real rocky motorbike you've done everything you have it do you know do you know if i do you know some I'm not, I'm not calling you a liar or nothing mate but do you know if i was to say that I, that that uh i know a man who had a shit on the moon you'll have done that as well i think yeah <laughs> yeah yeah, George is okay, called him two days ago, right. He's rebuilding workshop, he's re rebuilding his workshop. Coming on well, well it needs to. It was a bit disappointing, a bit distressing what happened to George. Because that, folks, that could happen to any of us. Or that could happen to any of us, I mean, it's... Yeah, I've actually sat on the real Rocky motorbike. Sky had it. 
as an exhibit at Planet Hollywood here in London. Only got to sit on it as my ex-wife's friend was a manager there, right? <coughs> yeah, fucking, uh, yeah, I like me, loaf. It's a shame he died, was it? But then again, I suppose, you know, yeah. He was getting on, though, wasn't he? I didn't think he was as old as he was. I think he was in his 70s, wasn't he, when he died? I didn't think as old as he was. I didn't think he was as old as he was. Didn't think he was that old. But... Yeah, I know, Harvey. I know you've taught, I know you've sent me a video of you doing it. Yeah. Yeah, we know. Yeah, well, you won't be getting on Con Concord again. Because the fucker doesn't fly. Which is a shame, really, isn't it? You know, the you know, they pioneered aviation by bringing out Concord. They never did, and then, and then they just stopped there. It was like a dead end. Uh... It just stopped there, it never went any further. It never got developed, they stopped making the parts for them. They were, in fact, right at the very end, they were raiding other Concords to keep existing ones going. Uh, would I want to fly on Concord, knowing that they're all full of second-hand parts? Mm, probably not. But, uh, when it was new and it was an experience, then yeah. But I think it was about £3,000 a ticket, wasn't it? I know it was dear. For what it was, it was dear. You know. Uh, mm, I've never been on an aeroplane. I'd like to. But I've never been on one. But I, Well, I say I'd like to. I'm not sure if I'd want to or not. Yeah, I phoned Steve this morning, and he's in London. He's gone for his uh, he's gone for his mental medical. I won't I won't go too deep into his his business. Yeah, he went. For, he was at uh, Euston train station. Uh, on his way to his medical for so for to yeah, you know he'll probably tell us all Sunday when he comes what it was all about. My flight was pleasure, it cost £500 in 1981. Well, that's a lot of money back then, 1981. You could buy a fucking good quality car for that, you know. It could, that would keep you in beer vouchers for months back in 1981. I mean, yeah, Concord was a miracle for its age, but it was a, a marvellous innovation. The trouble is it was never, ever ever uh, it, it wasn't it, it wasn't developed was it they never developed it they made a few of them uh, in conjunction Britain in conjunction with Air France British Airways in conjunction with Air France made a few of them well British Aerospace made a few of them and they never developed it you know they never developed it uh, you know it was, it was 1960s it was late 60s technology uh, and it was still flying into the 21st century. It's a bit like the original Austin Mini. It came out in 1959. They were still, they were still making the same fucking thing up until 2000. Uh, you know, you could still buy exactly the same thing in, two, in the year 2000 when they stopped manufacturing it. Just shows how backward Britain really is, doesn't it? You know, when you think about it. You know, everyone else has changed, they change, they move with the times. But Britain, Britain, Britain's don't, we, we sort of like get there and we're stuck. You know, uh, we don't progress. They have the last one to fly at 
Fulton, Phil, Fulton, well worth a visit. Russia tried me. Yeah, Russia made one, didn't it? It crashed at an air show. Yeah, Russia made a Concord. Made a, I think, do you reckon that the plans for Concord were actually leaked uh, to the Russians? The Russians built one and it crashed at an air show. I remember hearing about it. I've seen the video of that. I don't remember it. It was in the 70s. I don't physically remember it because back in the 70s I didn't watch a lot of news. I was too busy doing what all kids did in the 70s, playing out. News was for grown-ups. Yeah, the, yeah, the Russian one crashed, didn't it? Uh, but they reckon it was a direct knockoff of Concord. Uh, we've won a few changes, so it didn't look the same. But I think it had the droop snoot like Concord had. Uh, but uh, it was, it, you know, it was, it was, a, it was an innovation for its time. But the innovation stopped. You know, and it stagnated and never got any further. You know, they never developed it. I mean, Concord could have been... The skies could be full of them today. The skies could be full of Concord's descendants, but it never got developed. You know, they, they, made, they, made, they, made, the, they made the ones that they had and they, they, they stuck with them. Same as the Mini. They made the Mini from 1959 to, to 2000. Uh, they were supposed to ax the Mini in 1980 when they brought out the newfangled Mini Metro. And they couldn't kill the Mini, not even with the Mini Metro. Uh, they couldn't kill the Mini. Um, and uh, uh, the Metro was worse than the Mini. Uh, I'll tell you what, nothing rotted like a BMC car, did it? Nothing rotted like a Leyland. Yeah, they rotted for fun, them things, proper shit, mostly. Yeah, proper crap. My, in my video you see me at the beginning yeah I've seen it I've seen it Harvey yeah yeah I've seen it anyway uh, well, well we'll never see the likes of it again well we're not in our lifetimes anyway you know unless someone comes up and says right you know we need to get this project off the ground I think they sailed one down the Hudson. Good evening, Ian. I hope you're good, mate. I think they sailed one down the Hudson River today. It was on Sky News. I didn't see the actual video because uh, uh, I don't know whether it was whether it had been taken down or whether it, it just was a blank screen. Uh, but uh, the headline was uh, Concord sails down the Hudson River for some daft reason. Good evening, Julie. Honey, I hope you're good, love. Uh, yeah, I remember you saying, Harvey. Uh, I hope they paid you for it. Yeah, I paid you £100. I mean... Yeah, I'd like to go on an aeroplane and go somewhere, but, you know, what, you know, what I'd like to and another one I wouldn't, it's one of those things, you know, I'd like to, but, uh, you know, it's just one of those things I don't think I could. I don't know whether I don't know I don't know whether I'm airsick. I've never found out. It'd be worth it to go on a short hop just to find that out. I don't think I am. <coughs> Mind you, I don't know whether I'm seasick either. Well. 
just stay as long as you want Julie you know there's no commitment just stay as long as you want love you know uh, go whenever you feel that you need to go don't worry about that you know there's a concord on on deck of on the deck of the aircraft carrier museum in New York Hudson yeah that's the one that probably sailed down the Hudson today yeah I mean it, I mean for its time you know it for, it was an aircraft of its time and it should have been retired way long before it was and it's a, and it's, a, it's replacement should have been built I mean if it, if 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 the te if they kept up the development of the technology, the skies could have been full of them. You know, they could have had loads of different variants of it. Cause they'd already got the they'd already got the design sussed. So you know, there's not really any excuse apart from the fact that British uh, mum in hospital need to. Need to, need to sort lots of stuff out, lots of things. Sorry to hear that, Julie. I hope she's, hope she gets well soon, honey. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I hope she gets well soon. Uh, yeah. Definitely. Anyway, uh, let's get back on to. Should we, uh, should we get, should we, should we have a delve inside my drawers? <laughs> Doesn't sound right, does it? Should mm. we have a delve inside my drawers? You know, I'm sure she'll be all right, Julie. Absolutely, honey. No worries. Uh, right. We'll have a delve inside my drawers. We're gonna look in my drawers, guys. Look in my drawers. Right, what have we got? I could do this record player being moved, but we won't move it just yet. Right. There we go. Right. We've got a piece of a piece of circuit board. Would I ever use that? I'm probably not going to use it because it's been there that long, so in the minute goes. Let's put my glasses on in case I need to read something. Uh... Well, that's it, you say. Yeah, the Americans didn't, weren't happy because they never had it first, were they? You know, uh, the Americans always liked to be there first, really. And they never got there with Concord. Uh, we managed it. You know. But that being said, guys, you would be surprised. I'm not having to go to the Americans. I don't do that. But you would be surprised at what was developed by us that the Americans lay claim to, like the programmable computer. That was invented at Bletchley Park uh, by a guy called, well, wasn't invented at Bletchley Park, it was used at Bletchley Park. It was invented by a telephone engineer called Tom, called, uh, Tom uh, was it Tom Flowers? Tommy Flowers, I think his name was. Uh, and the machine in question was called Colossus. And after the war, because we had the 50 Year Secrets Act, uh, nobody could say anything about it. Uh, so the Americans took full credit for inventing the programmable computer and we were written out of it. Out of the complete story of it. But no, we invented it. Uh, it's another thing we gave Britain. We also gave Britain the jet engine. Some people say the Germans invented it, that's a load of shit. It was Frank Whitley who invented it. Uh, the first aeroplane to use it was the Gloucester Meteor. Well, the first, I think the first thing to fucking use it was a car. Because they gave it to Rover and they put it in a car. As, as the sort of thing that Rover would do. 
you know, so, you know, we invented the personal computer, we invented the comp programmable computer, uh, we invented the railways, uh, contrary to popular belief, we also co-invented, along with uh, Thomas Edison, uh, we also co-invented the electric lamp, uh, he gets all the credit for that, but it was him and a guy called Joseph Swan that were on that and that's why you get swan light bulbs if you've ever wondered you get swan light bulbs because of yours of swan there's a microphone lead the lead itself i know is knackered but it's got a good plug so we'll save that we'll lock the plug off that later has it got the little screw in the plug that usually gets lost yeah no it hasn't the little screw has got lost and they're 20 pence each them little screws you can buy them, but they're, they're like 20 pence each. Uh, I better keep that. That's the fuses out of Steve's homemade radio. That's the fuses out of that. I better keep that. Uh, lots of shit in here, guys. Do I really need any more sockets and stuff? Not really. A BSR. A BSR motor. Uh, we've got a wire tack sort of, there we go. This is a BSR motor, this guys. And I'll tell you now for a fact, beyond any reasonable doubt, this is not just an ordinary BSR motor. It was actually the winding off one. It's actually a brand new BSR motor winding. That's why I've kept it, because it's brand new. So, we will save that, I think. A case for a CD. I don't know if it will be in. Will be in. Yeah, we have to get rid of some of this rubbish, guys. Marconi's work was done. You're dead in bro. Well, that's right, but Marconi was another guy. Uh, he didn't fully invent the radio. He just worked out how to do it. He worked it out. But there was other people before him uh, that worked on the same problems. Many people have worked on the same problems, Clarence. And uh, through cohesive, I'm not sure what this transformer's for. I have to measure the voltages on some of these. Let's see what they put out. There's a tuner, might be handy for the crystals that I've got in mind. There's a rotor from a BSR motor. We'll save that. Uh, there's that transformer. Do you remember I was telling you I took a transformer out of the Bush radio? Well, that's the one which had the dodgy capacitor on because there's one missing. So we'll save that because we know we can do something with that at some point. Uh, yeah, we'll shove that there for now. But yeah, there's a lot of shit in here that I don't need. A lot of shit I'm not keeping. There's a another motor that's a good one. It's got a good spin on it as well. Uh, no switch, the switch is missing, but no problem. The motor is still a good one, that's why it's in there. What's this? Quan Sheng power adapter, that's a spare charger, no plug on it, like I've nicked the plug off it, that's a spare charger for me, uh, for me, me, me handheld Quan Sheng walkie talkie, so we'll save that as well because it won't take me long to put another plug on it should I need to. Uh, capacitor, look at that, they put one capacitor in a bag, rapid electronics. I think, it had, I think it had five in there at one time. Ooh, what have we got here? A box of standoffs, some nuts, and we might need them on the amplifier build. Oh, my new valve uh, holders came today, guys. An extinct tuber super Yeah, me. Got some belts in there. 
Not sure what they're off. Or what they're for. But we just keep stuff. And we don't think of throwing nothing away. There's another mold BSR motor with a bottom bearing missing. It's obviously got a good some good bits there because that's why it's been kept. Uh, RCA sockets. Mm, will I? Yeah, I will. I'll hold on to them for now. I'm not worried about the top of this. That belt's gone. Yeah, that belt's knackered. No stretching it there's cut away off an arm. A PL plug, it's a brand new one, never been used. A 13 amp plug. It doesn't come because correspond nowadays with the legislation, but for my own use, we'll keep it. What's this here? Plastic padding, elastic car, body filler. Well, has it gone off? No, it's still soft. And hardener feels soft as well. Uh, so we'll keep that because you never know when you need to. I never know when I need to fill my crack in. We'll keep that. I forgot I had that actually. Body filler. Yeah, get some bog in it guys, if you notice. Get some bog in it, get it hidden from the MOT man. Yeah. Yeah, there's another motor there. Yeah, fill it with bog, the MOT man on the spot, guys. Another rotor. Oh, there's a brand new jet plug there, unused. I'll say that. Yeah, because uh, I got my valve sockets today, guys. They turned up. Not sure what that's for. Oh, I know what that is. And I think I might have a use for that, so we'll save that. It's for a pro it's off a test meter, a nearly old one. saving them I might save the clips off the end but I'm not saving the rest of the crap and the deteriorated I might I might if I can if I can read you now I'm not gonna bother no I'm not gonna bother <coughs> I got our motor for a belt drive turntable Save these bits of wire because you never know, good for off cuts. Some transistors, I'm not sure what they are. Some more transistors. I mean, I've got millions of things that I'm never going to use. Don't know what the fuck they are. Don't want them. An idler. tape recorder keep that because I might have the fucking thing that goes on to it battery cover for someone there's a brand new capacitor what is it 47 microfarad at 400 volts yep there's a an amplifier board with some good transistors on it. Yeah, I know it might sound a bit boring tonight, guys, but this has got to be done. A power tra mains, mains transformer. Could even be an output transformer, I'm not sure. Another tuner. I, know, I don't think you're going to save all these tuners. I'm not saving the plates are bent on that. I'm not saving all this fucking shit. I mean, a lot of this shit has to be got rid of. You can't just save everything. There's a bottom bearing for a garage motor. I might have the motor in here. So we'll save that for a minute. More 
caps, another plug, uh, a little fucking thing on these that. See, we're starting to run out of places to put things now. So, screws. Oh, I think I could use those. They might fit my CD player because there's no screws in it. What's this? 10 volts, 2,200 two, two, two mic. See, I'm also looking for, there's an HDMI to mini HDMI, keep that. Brand new, is that a brand new 5 pin din? No, it's used. There's a knob off a bush, we'll keep that. <clears throat> Each shrink. Don't know that straps off and going to be. Yeah, so we've got quite a lot of shit going on here guys. Hello Ray! Don't know where you got to last night. Did not like you to not come in. But I'm glad you're all right anyway. There's one of them little amplifier boards. Just the board. I don't know where the rest of it is. It must have fell out of the bag into this drawer, so we'll keep an eye out. That 10 UF at 100 volts. We'll keep an eye out for the bits for that. And if that's in here, the rest of it will be. There's loads of shit in here, guys, I mean. You'd be surprised. Right. Another transformer. We've got a box here with some stuff in it. A gramophone needle, steel needle tin. Oh, what have we got there? LP78, ST17, ST16, that's probably okay, we'll clip that into something and test it. Mm. Put that up there for now. So I'm gonna, a lot of this stuff's going in the bin guys because, you know, you just can't afford to keep everything there's another garage motor I mean I'll be honest with you guys during all my years there's a pulley off one I'm not even sure I'm going to bother saving that but also guys in all my years right in all my years there's a long RCA plug you can't get them long ones now and there's another transformer there now I don't know what this one's don't know what this one's off. Don't know what voltages it puts out, but it's a valve one. It's for a valve amp, so we'll save that as well. Because if there's a 12 volts adapter, we'll save that. Because you know when you need you never know when you need a 12 volt adapter because <coughs> there's another lead more capacitors an empty bag there we go. this bag's getting heavy now all the shit it's getting. Mm. What I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to just empty the drawer into the bag of things and I'll go through it all tomorrow. 
I'll go through it all tomorrow. Go through it all. I'll go through all this stuff tomorrow. See what there is. I'll go through all that in the morning. I'll just throw it all in here and I can just go through it all and because it's not all rubbish, there's some stuff in there I want to keep. There's one of them plugs that you get the two pin plug and you shove it in. There's another transformer. Uh, don't know what it's from. There's some of this stuff in different years guys. There's one of them rubberized plugs. Banana plugs. I mean we've got a lot of shit here guys. Some years ago I bought a vintage matchbox super fast car. Road racing thing, my my theme, my friend change and fix some things. Hi Karen. About the motor and stuff, not sure if they have transformers anywhere in there. They might. Don't think so though, it depends how big it is. Yeah, there's another have another BSR jobby. We'll keep those because you never know. I mean in all honesty guys There's the front of an of an Oscar an Oscar C B radio, that's no good, it's not there's an output transformer, I know that's an output transformer. Here's another mains transformer, same as that one we took out. There's two of them, we've got exactly the same transformer. So we'll look at them. Because maybe it won't use a memory builder the whole thing, but you never know. Right, we've got all this sort of shit here. Got plugs and wires and see I'll go through this lot tomorrow guys. I'll go through this lot tomorrow. Maybe do it. I may even do it off camera in a bit. Another Gaddard motor. But the motors do live in that drawer, so the motors are supposed to be in that drawer. There's the remains of a valve amp, we'll keep that because it's got it's got new capacitors on. So we'll get the parts off that that are new. Uh, so we'll save that for now. Uh, there's a voltage meter or whatever it is a little amplifier uh, that's out of a fidelity record player and that was working I can't remember but it was working that another tuner I'm not keeping all these tuners most of them are fucked anyway speaker sockets yeah we'll keep those Wall plugs, yeah we'll keep hold of them, you never know. A bush knob for a bush record player, yeah we'll keep that because you never know, we might get one one here and one missing. Resistors, not fucking about keeping them, we've got millions of them. A screwdriver. I've got to put all this lot away afterwards. Yeah, lovely isn't it guys, and that's a... Uh, that's, we'll keep that. That's a 47 UF for 450 volt and it's a 10 watt 470 ohm resistor. We'll keep them. There's a thermistor. I'm not going to bother keeping that, you don't use them nowadays.
even where you're supposed to use them, I don't use them anyway. Uh, I have my own way of dealing with that sort of thing now. Motors. Remains of a tone arm, a modern one that you would have been. Uh, a globe, sort of like compass. I don't want that. More wire. See, I'll go through all the slots I bought Another motor, I don't know what this is off. Garad. Yeah, Garad. My crimpers, I was looking for them. another plug. My good quality crimpers. I was looking for them the other day, the other week. Now I know where they are. I was looking for them the other week then. Transistors. Not sure what they are. DM components. I bought the fuckers. 2SA. Yeah, general 2SA. 733 PNP Can't remember what I bought them for Or if I did order them or somebody else ordered them DNM components I deal with them But I can't remember if I ordered them or someone else did They're brand new anyway More new capacitors, miniature ones There's my red wire we're getting to the end of the draw now guys and we can start there's another one of them plugs heat shrink cartridge a little foot or something out of a jack plug and some friendly rod we'll keep that because you never know more threaded rod. I bought this for a job. This threaded rod. I'll just chuck. What is that? I'm going to keep that because I make what I do with these guys. Let me just show you this. What I do with those, I make cartridge clips out of them so you can clip the new modern crossly cartridge into them. That's what I use them for. So at the end of a tone arm from a modern crossway. Rubber feet and some screws. The rest of the rubber feet might be in the drawer. There's a transformer that come out of a pie black box, not the old valve or transistor one, the more modern 70s one, which was a transistor one, but it was a 70s one. Right. And this is another one of those amplifiers that we made the other week. So we'll save that because that's brand new. It was for a project that never got used. Now I've got to try and get myself into here. Remember I said I was looking for some power cable. There we go. Power cable. I knew I had a roll of it somewhere. Another Garrard motor. Small capacitors. Let's start clearing this drawer out. We're not going to go in the bottom drawer because I know what's in there. The bottom drawer, guys, is full of test meters. That's all that's in the bottom drawer. There are all all meters that are in there. So we don't need to go in there. But I'll go through this tomorrow because I 
Really, I should have got a magnet in here because I lifted this shit out with a magnet. Right, so what we can do now, guys? Bag. Now, start putting our transformers back in. What we'll do, we'll put our motors in first because they can go at the back. Because I want to test the transformers. We'll put the motors in first. Doesn't matter which order. Like I say guys, I've never never actually had any trouble with these motors. I mean in all the years I've been doing it, I've probably had one probably had one or two burn out in all the years of doing this I've only ever seen one or two that have been burnt out. Very 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 hardy motors these garards and BSRs considering the job they do they're a very good motor for what they do I mean they're not designed to take a lot and they don't take a lot but not very ballsy but they are good for the purpose for which they were designed for which is rotating a record at a given speed. And they were balanced as well, so. Right, that's my motors. If I come across any more, we'll throw them in. Now we've got the transformers next. And these are actually mains transformers, the valve ones. But I think they're. I think they use high voltage eaters, uh, I'm sure of it. <clears throat> this is out of an Amstrad tower system. But I keep it because you never know, do you guys? You never bloody know. Because it will work in other things as well. So what we'll do, we'll put that there. And that's got a rectifier circuit on it and everything though. That Pi transformer. That's ready to go. These are I mean a lot of these transformers guys will actually double up. A lot of them will double up as output transformers. There's no reason why, as long as the impedance is right, you can't use an output transformer. A uh, mains transformer, sorry as an output transformer I mean like something like that oh shit something like that for example little small transformer that would work that would work in a circuit where you know you need a really small output like a battery battery radio circuit that would work in somewhere like that you know that's where that would be useful and then you've got these these would work as output transformers no problem I've used output I've used mains transformers for output before today and I think that actually is an output I'm not sure I can't remember I'd have to check it but it would still work I've used them before today and that's definitely an output that come out of a Ferguson uh, record player there's a couple of rotors you never know you get one where they snapped then we can put the wire back in there these plugs 
plugs. Start putting stuff back in the drawer now. These bits of wire can go in because I want to save those. We'll, these transistors, we'll put them in here because we need to test them. All this stuff can go because we need to test it. We're not going to do it tonight, but we need to test it at some point. These plugs, that one's still good for today. That's an MK plug, they're good plugs out. That one doesn't come for, come for but we'll still keep it. I use a keep it for my own use. A set, a, a, set, a set of sharp knobs. I got these off Kevin uh, uh, from uh, Access Area 6. Got them off him uh, a long time ago, and they're worth saving. CB radio knob. We'll find a pocket so to put that in. Amplifier board, we'll just drop that down there. And these, there's another plug. See, we can just put stuff back in the drawer now. I just wanted to get all the crap out of there. That I know is crap and got to be chucked. The stuff that's got to be kept can go back in. There's a, look at that guys, that's, a, that's actually a brand new EZ80, that's brand new, that's never been used. I wanted that for my radio last night, but we'll, so we'll, we'll put it in at some point. So I'll put that radio back in the front room. Uh, ferrite beads, they're snake oil, I don't fucking want them, they're a waste of fucking money. The snake oil and ferrite beads. As far as I'm concerned, they are, they didn't work. Cassette tapes. A few knickknacks. See, I know where everything is here now. I know where all this is now. There's the transformer from that burger alarm. That's the transformer from that burger alarm. That'll make a good transformer for a project. That screwdriver in there is too big to put in the other drawer. And that one, they normally live in there anyway. Some wire. That can go in there. See, I know where things are now. That come out of a scrap radio, but yeah, the transformer will come in handy for some. Capacitor. See, I know where things are now. So I can just put stuff back in. There's an output transformer. The threaded rod. sets in there because there's another lead with a plug on it coming in for a record player or a radio that can go in the drawer here because they're bulbs that can go in the component drawer there and knob clear the top of this record player that turn transistors I need to find out what these ones are so we'll put them there so we know where we're looking at. Clear the top of this. Some tone arms. I've got a box for tone arms, but as I can't get to it at this point, we'll put them back in here for now. So you're getting tone arms. There's a ampli there's an amplifier board. Where that come out of a record player? Don't know whether they work, but we've kept them anyway. Because there's transistors on there that you can't get. Put that in my box of cartridge bits, put that stylus with that. 
in my cartridge bits. New car body filler, brand new for that one day. Bob Marley and the Whalers. That amplifier. A little small project. My homemade amp. Oops, there's a cartridge there, I want to test that. A bulb. You'd be surprised. The stuff that you actually do save a bush knob, a figure of eight socket, you never know. You'd be surprised, I'm on off switch, a good quality one. You'd be surprised at the sort of stuff that you actually keep, you know, that you do actually keep, and you think, well, I'll keep that because you never know. And it's true, guys, you do never know. I mean, what I throw away, I want to test that. Leave that out. And what? What, what, I, what I don't, you know, what's this, 10, 10 microfarad, 250 volts, another tape, I should be able to shut the drawer in there and make no problem, got some shit on there that's going to go in the bin, uh, call it uh, banana plugs right and that's let's put those put them back in there I know where they are then I know where they are then so let's get some of this crap off of here put them back in there they're cheap crimpers there's another transformer Stuff's got to stay out. There's another plug that does conform, it's a good one. We'll save that. Idlers, and that's about it. I'll save that tuner because I'm going to use that for a project. A little small tuner, stylus. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. There's one of my leads for my scope, a little earth lead. Right. Uh, just chuck them fucking millions of screwdriver bits. I don't know what this is off, I can't remember what this is off. Got lots of transistors on it. It's off an amplifier. It's a preamp. There should be two of those. Oh no, it's just it's just one because it's stereo. It's a preamp, but I'm not sure. Can't remember what it I think it come out the same. And then we'll let them sit that then two separate hands side in behind a minute ago. I think it come off the same animal. I think it was a donation from the same animal. There we go. What's this? Jim Reeves. I'm sure I've got the cassettes. I'll just give that. See, this is stuff that doesn't get used often. That ends up in the drawer or stuff that I don't really want out. A lot of that above all that stuff's going in the fucking bin. That'll get scraped off into the bin as well. Rubberized plug in there, sandpaper can stay out. Um, banana plugs, put them back in. See the drawer will shut now and we'll have a lot easier. White boys, you know, no cassette in it. There we go, guys. There we go, save these. There's a good speaker plug on the end of one of them wires. We'll save that, obviously. My nuts and bolts, we'll put them there. Do my uh, nuts and standoffs, because they will come in handy and screws put them there because they're going to be used in the next few days an empty bag heat shrink chuck that in there and that's about it <clears throat> oh, oh I mean this drawer is a bit stiff but it will close 
It is stiff, but it does close because it's uh, stiff on the other fucking side. You have to lift the drawer up to. I think that's why I don't empty. That's why I don't go in this drawer that often. There we go. There you go. Right, let's move this record player, guys. Uh, I'll move that for a minute. Right. Shift that screwdriver. There's my toothbrush, which is not actually mine. It's my friend Alison's. Capacitors there, what value are those? Two point two one hundred volts. There we go. Hey. Yeah, this, this is a good record player, this guy's. Lovely record player. Sounds good now, it's been done. <coughs> That's the centre adapter. show you what I've got guys let me show you what we've got these are for our amplifier build we're starting to get the bits in slowly but surely where's that ST17 gone it might be a good one may not be but you never know it's kept in that drawer for a reason Camera free, sorry. Sorry, we've not done anything more meaningful tonight, but you know, sometimes we have to do these little things where we have to have a bit of a clean up and a tidy up and anything else up. And Right, these are gold plated guys. These are my gold plated valve sockets. And they are chassis mount ones. Lovely they are. They're going great. I'm looking forward to using those. I've got four of them. A bit unlike wrapping a sweet. Notice my old CD kick in there guys, very limited but it's there, making sure they all face the, all the open gaps face the same way. Right, what they are? They are my, 
Mm. <coughs> so we're going to have we're going to go for single ended. So we're going to basically we're going to have a valve at either side, rectify valve well out of the way. Could be on either side, probably this side. I don't know why. And we're going to put the EWC83 there. And that's how we're going to do it, guys. Uh, three valves, two transformers. And that's going to be the basic. That's going to be the basic layout of what we're going to do. But there again. I probably won't use these because they don't match. But there again, you never know. Uh, yeah, these have these are these have been drilled out a bit too big on some of the holes. But they'll work. We we'll still use them. Uh, if I want to go push pull, then I can use a couple of those. And we can use a couple of those. Yeah, we can use we can use a couple of those guys for a push pull pair. And stick an E double C eighty three. We've got a one there that takes that's a slightly smaller valve, I think. Don't think that's a might be. Looks like it's a smaller one. Yeah. Yeah, that looks like it's the next one down. Oh no. No, it is that one. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's actually gone in. Yeah, it's in. Now, there we go. Right, let's see how tight these are, these new ones, because uh, I'll tell you what I'll do, I won't use that. That's a new valve. Where's that broken ECL82? I'll come to the chat in a minute, guys. Let's see how tight these are. These, these are usually tighter than a weird than the Yorkshireman. Yeah, look at that. Perfect then. Check them all because we need them because we don't want any slackers. Yeah. Yeah, they're good then. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you want. I, I mean, I bought some once, and Jesus, man, did I have trouble getting the valves in them. Uh, I mean, I had trouble getting the valves in, so I didn't have to worry about ever getting them back out. I don't like the way them pins are bent in there, straighten them out. Yeah, we don't want bent pins that are bent right in. Not gonna snap any of them off either, but we want them all nice and straight, really. So that when we come to do the soldering, we're not fucking about. Right, and that's that, guys. There are the Mapu those. These are the ones off the Mildred. Let's see what these feel like. Yeah. Yeah. The only problem is these are silver. I mean, that won't match. I'll still use them. I'll still use them. Yeah. Yeah, they're good. Not as good as the new ones. And there's one there where the things broke off, but I think we can do something do something about that and just put a bigger washer on. Still use the socket.
this right. Well, that one doesn't want to go in. Well, that's a tight fucker. Wow. Wow, that's tight that one, and that one's a bit damaged there, but that's no problem, I'll still use them. Yeah, a bit on the fucking tighter side. Okay, now, wow, and that one there, I probably won't use that. So basically guys, we've got enough, put that there because that's got to go in the bin when I get a five set of that. No, I won't in case it breaks, I've got to go through that bag. Uh, so basically we've got, we've got eight sockets here. We've got eight valve, so eight valve sockets, these have been used but only on two pins. They've never had any solder on any of the other pins. Just two pins. So what do we use for? I don't know. Why would you just have solder on two pins? We'll clean them off anyway. The solder iron's on. It's been on all night. I forgot. I mean, just there as well. Just two pins all in the same places. Two pins all in the same places. And it's the same with these ones. Just two pins. Like all that one's. That one's used a couple more. No, it hasn't. Two pins. But yeah, it has. Has it? Yeah. No. It just had two wires on it. Two two wires on each pin. We'll clean them off. But uh, yeah, there's just two pins on. In the set, so I don't know. Might have been used for, used for valves, might have been for some other fucking else, but they're good ceramic, good ceramic valve holders, anyway. So, what we do, guys, so we've got we've actually got eight valve sockets here, so we've got eight valve sockets that we can use. We've got eight valve sockets here. So we, we can, so you know, we, we're not short, so really we can build a really, really nice amplifier. I mean, I want to build an amplifier that I would like to have myself. Uh, that's the whole point of this project, is to build Andy's amplifier. We're going to build that Andy's amplifier. We're going to do it on this channel, all of us together. If anybody's got any suggestions, then I'll be welcome. What I'll be doing, I'll be starting off with a genetic circuit, and I'll be improving that circuit as we go along. We'll probably start single-ended, and we'll work our way up to push-pull. But depends on what transformers I can get from Goldborn. I'm expecting to find some transformers at Goldborn. Now, what I want to do now, guys, I want to turn this generator, the speaker on, and let's see if this cartridge works. No, no, that's deader than tank tops. That's knackered. Still, we'll put it in the cartridge bits later. Right, so let's flip that off. Right. Should we see what you lot are talking about? 
and maybe I can join in the conversation or maybe you can join in mine we'll see uh, oh yeah I almost forgot uh, thanks for the coffees Julie I almost forgot love uh, thank you very much love uh, much appreciated absolutely uh, let's see what we've got on the chat I almost forgot and I'll never forget uh, I'll never forget so there we go you see right let's see what we've got see what we're talking about what are we talking about uh, right, so let's come down a bit yeah I bet they enjoy swearing too. Hello Ray. Uh, there's a bit there for me to think it isn't there guys. Doing a bit of lots of chatting. Sorry to hear about your mum. Uh, hello Karen. Uh, Ray. Yep always. Yeah. Mowers and blowers to fix this time of year. Now the grass is growing, Jules. Yeah. Uh, mowers and blowers. Yeah. Bit of blowing on a mower. Uh, I always. Always have a good workspace reset. Absolutely. You know, a good tidy up, it doesn't do you any harm. Throw on, throw away some of this shit you don't need. Doesn't do you any harm to get rid of some junk. Uh, I wish I could join in on the spring cleaning, but I'm working. Oh, sorry to hear that, uh, Clarence. Um, do you work on small engines, Ray? Uh, Ray Cooper. Yes, it was a hobby, but now local gardeners and builders and tree guys bring their gear to fix. Right. Uh, that's good work, Ray. I'd like to do it too, but not very profitable around here. Uh, it's not around here actually. I mean, I had a friend lived around the corner who's no longer with us now. And I used to service his gardening uh, tools for him. Do his little two stroke engines and stuff. I used to do them for him. Uh, he used to bring them round. Uh, he used to bring them round. I used to prepare them to put them away for winter. And I used to sort them out, recommission them again for the summer. Didn't take much fucking doing because we made sure they ran out of fuel. Made sure there was no fuel in them whatsoever. And then I then I take the plug out, dribble a bit of oil down the bore, and uh, clean the plug and put the plug back in. Uh, just put a bit of two stroke down the bore to just, you know, just keep it lubricated. Uh, yes, yeah, so now a local. Yeah. That's good. Uh, oh, I've read that bit. Trouble is. Tr trouble is so. so it's so time consuming time you can really charge but you can't really charge for but you can you can charge if you pay you charge for your time any time I would have thought uh, yes sir Ray Cooper it's just, it's just a hobby for me disc cutters are the worst packed with damp brick dust Ooh. Uh, things like still saws and shit like that I had the scooter kids offering me their pocket money but I can't take it I repair for free <laughs> yeah. I used to repair old age pensioners tellies and stuff for free years ago I didn't have the art to charge them you know you say what do I owe you you say what do I owe you young lad you say, ah, nothing mate or nothing love whatever you know yeah uh, the, only rule is, the only rule is, the only rule is, I 
do not boost the speed. You are such an angel, Kevin. You are a legend, Kevin. The youths don't have a lot of these don't have a lot these days. To come and don't care about them. That's very, very true. Think they didn't get much about us when we were kids. Uh, <laughs> do you, do do you let them touch your toys? Bet you don't. No, Ray, not allowed. I I I I I fixed their consoles for them. I bet you're enjoying your swearing too. I can, I, I can I can I can remember my bike. I can remember repairing my bike. When well, he Ray. Mm. Yeah. Have you started saying like between? Have you started saying like like between words like in it? Now, if somebody says in it to me, I don't answer them. In it, in it. What the fuck's in it? I don't answer them, mate. You're too cool for school, in it. I don't speak like that. I expect people not to speak to me like that. Uh, I don't mind someone calling me bro. Don't mind that. Uh, one knocked on the door and said, My man. Said, You fix scooters, bro. You being. You're being groom, Kevin. <laughs> Did you install playing cards on your sports stool? Yes, I think we all did that. We all used to put playing, sport, playing cards in our sports. Used to annoy the shit out of the neighbours. Uh, thought scraps might come trotting in when he heard the rustling now. He knows the difference between a rubbish bag and a sweet bag, a crisp bag and a packet of biscuits. He knows the, rub he know, he knows the difference, Karen. Uh, he won't. He could, but he doesn't. Uh, I showed one lad to point a remote control at his phone camera to see it flash. He was amazed. No, no. Uh, no, no blood, no, no, no blood knows. I've taken trucks off skateboards. <laughs> We've all done it. And designed my own picks and transferred onto old skate and transferred onto an old skateboard and a more modern one. I love the old vintage skateboard designs. Old stuff is always going to be nicer than new, isn't it? No, well, Jules, you are you had a skateboard, yeah. <clears throat> we all had them as kids. I I never liked them. I had one. I'd give it to a friend because I didn't like it. I preferred a pair of roller skates. Uh, yeah, I had a pole gold sticker as well. In later life, <laughs> not to ride through, not to ride though, just for me. I love the decks. Jules. Uh, I've been. I, 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 I've been on a longboard though. As a kid. I got put, and got pulled round on it. It was great. I remember when I was a kid. We used to make bogeys. Yeah, we used to make bogeys out of pram wheels. We used to get old pram wheels. And old pram axles and bits of wood and make bogies. Remember, remember making bogies, guys. Did any of you guys ever make a bogey? No dirty remarks, if you please. We know we've all picked and flicked one. Uh, uh, that is one of the large wheels. That is the one with the large wheels, Julie. I used to go auto. 
auto dark well I used to go auto darking welding mask to test remotes I used to go auto dark I, 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 I used my auto darkening welding mask to test remotes in for a red cabin uh, uh, wow, uh, wow mushroom wow. wow mushroom sounds cool I've got a, a very flux howler not not good condition though yeah Ray that works it's longer it's a longer board than a skateboard Kevin it was the 70s when I it was in the 70s when I visited Michael's and never heard of the varied uh, jewels I'll have a look I'll have a look later on very, very, very flex there was all sorts of stuff about Wernley back then Mine's, mine, mine's old and battered and there must have been some ones regular, I bought it some years ago from eBay. We lost you Andy mate, back now Andy, I don't know what happened there then, uh, as long as I'm back I suppose it's okay, uh, back now Andy, twice. Uh, welcome back. Uh, don't know what happened there, guys. Uh, I believe the long boards did have slightly larger wheels, but I can't see that because the bloody arrow's in the fucking way. Uh, don't know why we disappeared then. Well, there we go. Uh, slightly have longer, with larger wheels. It was years ago in my teens. Some days my memory is bad. My memory is bad, Kevin. Mine the same, Julie. One thing I've got to own up to is I've got a fantastic memory. Yes, I can remember everything, guys. If I can't remember it, it never happened. To be honest. Because I can remember everything. I've got a fantastic I've got a fantastic memory box. Fantastic. And look at that one of me yourself skull sculpt leads is broken. Yeah, one of the things. Oh no, it's just pushed it'll push back on. There we go. No, it's not. I thought it was broke. It's only a fucking rubber cap. Because right. my scope leads have an habit of getting caught down there. Right, and this is one of the leads off. I need to make some more of these up. There we've got clips onto there. Let's put these. There we go. Right. Yeah. Oh, hang on, I better answer that. My daughter. Yes? You would never guess what my mum did today when I was at work. I probably wouldn't guess, but go on, I'm live on YouTube, but go on. Take me off loudspeaker. Go on. Well, go on. Can anyone hear me? No, I can hear you. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah, hang on. Hang on, I can't fucking hear you at all now. Turn it fucking right there. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. Right. 
No. Yeah, well, you know your mum. Yeah. yeah. Right, I'm going. See you later, flower. Bye. Me daughter. Anyway. Right. So what we're going to do now, guys, uh, we're going to test these capacitors that come out of the Acker. Let's get the ESR tester. Because... I'm not sure if it's this one. Yeah. Test those capacitors. And I bet they're all out of spec. They always are. Especially them red TLC ones. Hey! <coughs> Let's get them all over, over here. Where's that squash blue? I'm not going to test the main electrolytic. I don't know where I've put that. But they're usually pretty spot on anyway. There's the blue one. This is a daily one. And it's crushed. So we'll see what the issue is. Doesn't matter which way you connect the tool. 1.5 ohms. 8.64 so it was actually and what is it I think it's 8 UF this so we've not had a ding in the top yeah 8 UF 275 volts even though I had a ding in the top it's still working and we lost one of these TLC ones there was four of those never mind let's see See what these are, these are always out. These are always out of spec, these fuckers are horrible. These are always fucked. 84.87 microfarad should be 50. Uh, ESR is not bad, 0.78 ohms. It's not bad on ESR, but the the capacitors, these are always out. That's why I say, that's why I say you should get rid of these on site. Because correct your amplifier, guys. 75.8, 1.91 1 microfarad uh, ohms. That's 78, that's 75. It should be 50. So we're well over the well over what it should be. So these are all fucked. 51, well that's not too bad, but it's 20 ohms. So it's no good on that scale, 20 ohms. It's more of a 20 ohm resistor than it is a capacitor. 51.7 uh, it should be what? 50 ohms. Now this one, this is 16 UF, it's 16 microfarads, and we'll see what, it's, see what it actually is in reality. But that's why you have to change the capacitors in them, because And that says it's monitoring for component. So basically, guys, let's try and get the little bit up here. So we can try and clip on. Basically, 
that is open. That's 16 UF. Yeah, that's open. So if we get the manual, if we get the manual, that, that, that 16 UF doesn't seem to come up in it though. I mean, it is in there, but it doesn't seem to come up in it. Doesn't show. It doesn't show. It doesn't do the circuit layout. If we go to the circuit, the circuit layout doesn't show it. See, there's the circuit layout there. Uh, and if I turn it this way. That 16 UF is goes between there. It goes between uh, let's turn it the right way up. It should be. Just looking in case they show it somewhere else. 16 UF. C4, no. Uh, C6, nope. It's not there. That's your transformer, that's your mains transformer. There's your output transformer. If it's anywhere, it's along here on this side. Uh, there's your smoother. There's R21 that goes on to your smoother. Fifty microfarad C5, fifty microfarad C9, fifty microfarad C10, fifty microfarad C8, and there your resistors. Uh, And there's C3, 50 microfarad. It doesn't show. There's a mistake. So maybe some of them didn't. Maybe some of them didn't have it in. Maybe some of the amps didn't have it in. But everyone I've ever seen, they have. So they've never. It doesn't show this. It doesn't show it. If we have a look in the circuit, we have a look at the circuit diagram, the schematic, see if it shows it in that. I'll solid tape this together for ease of use. Alright, so 16 microfarad. I don't know what number it will be because it's not shown. Alright, so there's the volume control. 50 microfarad, 1 micro, 1 meg, 50 microfarad, C16, here it is, C16, 16 microfarad, that's the fucker there, and it goes between, it goes for, it goes between R10 and R15, and ground now where's our ten there's our ten which is ten K and our fifteen And there's C8, which is 8 microfarad. And C16 isn't shown on this. Because it should be between... It should be... Yeah. It's that one there, C16, electrolytic, 16 microfarad. 
Uh, and where's it going from there? It's actually part. Uh, there's your eight microfarad C eight C sixteen C eleven. It's actually part of your power supply. Ooh, it's going to pin three by the look of it. Sorry, uh, pin four of the valve. Yeah, one of the valves. Yeah. Might be using it. Not sure what they're using it for. But there's C8, and that's going. Yeah, but it goes. It goes from the junction of R10 and R15. R10 is R10 is 10k. R15 is 1.5k, and that's right in the middle. There, it's in the junction, and it goes into that valve, into valve, valve 1B. Which means uh, this is valve one A, so we're nine, so one, two, five, four and five are eaters. So yeah, goes into goes into goes into your screen. Yeah, it's your screen. Goes into your screen, it must do. But yeah, you've got to change them, guys, because if you don't, you run the risk of killing the bloody output transformer. Or, you know, and because these are push pull transformers, they're expensive. I mean, I would not do one on the cheap. But uh, that's what I printed the book out for. But if you say book, fucking pamphlet, really, isn't it? Not much to it. It's only a record player. But that's what I printed that out for, so I could work with it on the side of me. It's easier. Now, let's see what we've got on the chat. Oh, Jesus Christ. I need a doctor's appointment soon after a hospital appointment to discuss from uh, to to discuss from a month ago but then lots of family stuff and now my mum's so trying to keep it all together now my mum so trying to keep it all together watching Andy and chat God. well glad you're enjoying it uh, Julie that's the whole point of it I mean I'll be honest with you guys, if I ever get the feeling that you're not enjoying it, I'll stop doing it. Yeah, keep your pecker up, Julie. Absolutely. You know, you can always... You know, if you need a chat, if you need a personal chat, you can always send me an email. And I'll always chat to you. Don't worry about that. You know. Uh, watched a few of your videos earlier, Kevin. Uh, dinosaurs and Bigfoot. You've got a good style and imagination. Look forward to a new video, Kevin. Yeah, yeah, he's he's a pretty good hour, Kevin, isn't he? Yeah, a pretty good hour, Kevin. Yeah, nice lad at all. Uh, and uh, I, I actually barred him for a while and didn't realise it. He sent me a message on YouTube, on Facebook, on uh, no. Fucking WhatsApp asking me why he was bad. <laughs> I told him, I said, you're not. And then I checked and yeah, he got bad. I don't know why. Accidentally. Anyway, the, the ban was immediately lifted forthwith because uh, I had no reason to ban him. <laughs> but, you know, he did, he got bad. Uh, I don't know how. Hey, it's Mildred time, guys. I knew he'd ring. 
It's Mildred time, guys. Hello, Mildred. Good evening, penis. How are you? I'm all right, Mildred. Yes, yeah, sir. What do I owe the pleasure? Or maybe even the displeasure? Did you get the undercarriage sorted out? The undercarriage? Yeah, the engine. Shut up. Yeah. Yeah, 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 some of them are alright, some of them are shite. Well, you can sell them to that bloke. Well, that's it, I'll move them on. Yeah. Show them where the box for the other shite. I'll just show them in the box, it just, it just calls a job lot. Anyway, I'm on YouTube at the moment. Are you again? Yeah, that's why I said it's Mildred time. Mm, probably. Yeah, it's Mildred time, it's... Yeah. It's I, I always know where... I know. I always know when you're gonna ring Mildred. Why? I get an itchy nose. Uh, you're telling me, you tell me, you got an itchy. Shut up. Uh, listen, I'm not the only one to get an itchy undercarriage. Hey, you're the only one that fucking stinks. Shut up. Yeah, you're just jealous because you can't generate. No, I don't at all. No, I don't know what you mean, Mildred. No, I don't know what you mean. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, listen, listen. Listen. Yeah. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, listen, listen. gobshite, let me ask you something. Like Well, fuck you, get it said then. You said you were only going to say it once. Yeah, listen, gobshite, I was going to ask you. Uh, I was going to ask you, how's the, how's the shit box coming on? You know what they say, don't you, Mildred? You can't polish a turd. You can't polish a turd. Hey, can, hey, come round for me. I'll come and give you a hand, and then and then I and then I can and then and then and then when you put and then you see then I can sit and watch your hair stand on them when you turn it on. Yeah, and eat your biscuits. Yeah, we know. We know what you're up yeah. to. You're fucking dying to get around here and unload. Yeah, no, I'm not actually. I'm, I'm, I'm not actually. I've not got a dose of the fat. I'll say from you, know. <laughs> no, I haven't today. Yeah, I've sort of, you know, you're not finished yet. No, I've been sorting my drawers out today, Mildred. Okay. Yeah. You know that brown, that brown, that brown, that brown cabinet, that brown, that brown set of drawers under the bench. Right. Under the bench, one I've been sorting that out. Mm. Uh, I found, uh, yeah, I found stuff in there I've not seen for years. <laughs> I, I found some car body filler in there. Fuck knows where that came from. No, it wasn't. I do I never used to fill my scooter, Mildred. My scooter, you you should know, you had my scooter. It had all original paint on it. I didn't buy it, I got it given, I might have got it off you, it's in a yellow tube. It's in a yellow box with a, a tube of a small... Oh, yeah, it's an old you get more of the box. Yeah, I know, it'll be worth more, the box won't it. Yeah, I yeah, think I got it off you. Yeah, I think I got it off you. No, no, they're all right. No, they're, they're all right to you. They're all right to you use them. Yeah. I got them out of an hardware shop on Shawi. Yeah. Right, I'm going Mildred. I'm going to go because I'm just waiting for him to come down. Let's fucking put this thing in there and I can wire it up. Okay. So Sheba can't come and watch your hair stand on then and me, you know, you look like Doc Brown. I'm not bothered about Doc Brown. 
I'll catch you later, Mildred. Bye, mate. Bye. Yeah, we, we've not been on basic electronics for a while, have we? Might do that tomorrow night, guys, see if I'll find something that we can go on basic electronics with. We've not been on there for a bit. And I don't want to neglect that channel. I don't see how many subscribers it's got in a bit. See if it's gone up by any, it probably has. Uh, that was the Mildred. Uh, what's a ferrograph? It's a type of tape recorder. Made in Britain, uh, Julie. Yeah, it's a body goods tape recorder made by a company called Ferrograph. Uh, Mildred, real name, Graham, yeah. His real name's Graham. I might be at the Manchester Arena in summer, Ray. Oh, if you are, Kevin, let me know. I'll come and meet you down there. Yeah. Us YouTubers in the gaming community arranging a meet-up. Yeah. Was out the room. I mean, yeah, I, uh, oh, don't forget, guys, don't forget, guys and girls, get your requests in for the karaoke on Sunday, because uh, that helps me out if I know what you want, I don't have to, I don't have to think about it, so get your requests in, we're getting nearer, so get your requests in, and we'll get them noted down, and... I will let you know. Cheers, uh, Kevin. Uh, what channel will, will that channel you gave a, sh a shout be out there, Kevin? We'll check it out, Harvey. This channel. Yeah. Oh, basic, basically. Uh, yeah, there's the uh, there's the original cap out of the there's the original cap out of the acker. Yeah, it's uh, they're usually hunts, but this is a T T O C. Uh, it's supposed to be fifty microfarads by fifty microfarads. I keep using my other bloody account. Yes, Ray is Tony Fighter. Well, let's see, what, see how many volts. Should we see how many microfarads this has lost or gained? How much weight has it lost? I mean, I could have restuffed this, but I just can't be bothered. I'm not into that shit, guys. I'm not into restuffing. Hey, uh, Christine. You're right, Andy. Yeah. So we'll go to the red one first. There's a co uh, hot chocolate. You want a hot chocolate? Yeah, 58.9, 0 0.69 ohms. That's not bad. Not bad. And that one's 54 and about the same on the impedance. So that's not bad. You know, but given that it's, given that it's, they don't put a date on them, do they? British made. Uh, 350 volts DC working. Yeah, it doesn't say it doesn't have a date, or some of them have a date on them, but these didn't. Uh, but, it all the same, all the same needed to be replaced. It's been in there 50 years, needed to be replaced. So, replaced it got. I don't leave them in. Because I don't leave them in, guys. Because the uh, uh, if you you know if they fail, 
that if they fail and they fail catastrophically <sighs> if they fail and they fail catastrophically then you're gonna let's go to camera four well, I'll tell you what we'll go to camera one let's just check how many cameras we let's turn the soldering iron off didn't even use it tonight it had been on all night there we go See how many cameras we've still got going. I know camera freeze, I've just left it camera four. Yeah, camera freeze there, that never fails camera four. Can okay. it change colour or move me on there? You now camera two and camera two still there. Since I put that plug on that lead, that camera two's been as reliable as hell, it's never failed been as reliable as hell since I did that. It's been dead reliable. I've got to go now and it might be back later. If not, take care and thanks. Thanks all. Oh, you're welcome, Julie. I hope, you, hope your mum's better soon. And uh, like I say, if you need to speak, you know, off here, then you can always email me. You know, I don't mind chatting to you. It's not a problem at all. Uh, you know, if you want to have a proper chat, you know, I don't mind at all, as you know. You take it easy, and uh, I'll probably be gone by the time you think about coming back, because I won't be long myself now, but uh, I'll probably be gone soon. Have we got any scabs left? Yeah. Anyway, guys, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to leave it there as well. Uh, sorry we've not had much to do tonight. There we go, Jules. YouTube. Let's watch, yeah. There we, there we go. It probably won't come up. It probably won't, you won't be able to access that. Uh, from there. Can I, can I, oh I can I think. Uh, what is it anyway? Oh it's Harvey's, there we go. What I'll do. There we go. What I'll do, I'll copy that into the description. Just in case the link doesn't work. It worked when I clicked it, but don't always do this, so I'll copy that. Copy. Let's go to the description. Edit. Paste. There we go. Save. So now everybody can copy, everybody can click on that now. Because uh, it don't always work when you paste links into the chat, but that will now. Uh, that will now. Uh, oh, you're welcome, Harvey. You're welcome, my friend. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there because uh, I'm going to watch a bit of YouTube myself and have me on chocolate. <sighs> and a bag of scabs if there's any left. Uh, you all take you all take it easy. I think if uh, my post it works. Oh, you got you got the you got the Johnny Cash Colombo uh, swan song. Yeah, that's that that's a good one, that isn't it? Where he, where he kills his wife and her daughter in it, I think it is, and uh, he jumps out of the plane with a homemade parachute. Yeah. Mind you, the way she was treating him, I'd have fucking murdered her and all. Yeah, dead right. Anyway, guys, listen, you all take it easy. And, oh, hello, uh, hello, hello, the chipmunk. Windows are just gone mental. 
taking me 15 minutes to get here, get in here. And you're you leaving. Come back? Well, that that's the problem, you see. Uh, uh, no, you won't be getting a fruit pastel tonight, uh, Clarence, because I haven't got any. Uh, so, you'll probably, probably just get a biscuit instead. Um, I mean, my uh, my window's very rare. I don't have a problem, you know. And I'm not just saying that, I really don't. I don't have a problem. My, me and my computer, we have an understanding. An understanding. It fucking does as it's told. It's a machine. It works. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it does. It works. I put this install on here when I first built this machine and it's the same install, I haven't had to do anything with it. I just delete all the shit off now and again, stuff I don't need. Just maintain it. Yeah, but uh Yeah, we've uh, you've got the rest of the video to watch, uh to watch the chip monkey watch it right from the beginning uh, no issue on laptop but desktop his age and struggles with windows 10 or you want to think about upgrading it then you know or using your dad using your laptop because uh, windows 10 is very fussy about what it'll work on um, i mean this thing i've got runs it no problem Fucking flies this thing. I mean, there's a lot of resources on this. It's got a lot. Of, it's got a lot on it. A lot of resources. There's tw 24 gigabytes of memory. Uh, it's got uh, four hard drives in there. The main hard, the main, the main C drive. Uh, I've just got Windows and a few programs on it. It's a solid. It's a 500 gig solid state drive. The rest are all mechanical drives. Yeah, that's what I do. I go through it, Harvey. You know, I do. I do it every couple, about every two or three months. I go through it. I do the recycle bin once a week. Yeah, Lappy is Win Eleven. Yeah, I can't install Windows Eleven on here. It did say why. But there's something I haven't got. I don't know whether it's hardware or software. I would say it's software because this thing, when this thing was built, it was only built a couple of years ago. So it's only about three or four years old, this machine. So I don't see why it shouldn't take Windows 11. I don't want Windows 11 until I really have to anyway. Uh, I'll keep using Windows 10 for as long as I can. Because I'm happy with it and it provides me with what I want. But thinking of switching this ancient beastie to Linux. Yeah make, yeah, make a Linux box out of it. Yeah, I just turn it into a Linux box. Yeah, I'd do that. TMP possibly. Yeah. There we go, guys. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to leave it there. I hope you didn't hear that. Although more, two, more than two sniffs of it, you can eat it. I'm going to leave it there, guys. Uh, there are real... Flangs, flangs to get around hardware checks. I actually found 11 to be okay once once you've nobbled. Yeah. You know, but uh, I'll put 11 on it when I absolutely have to. I mean, I mean, have we got any, have we got any scabs left? Chris, yeah. Have a look. Yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, I don't see the point of fucking up a good system that's working for me. You know, and I've got everything on here. I mean, I use this system to communicate with you guys. Uh, I use it for all, all my video, and it's all done through this system. Uh, but I mean, not two of those cameras, camera one and camera two, 
they've got hard drives and they've got they've both got 40 gig hard drives in them. I, I do record on them now and again just to move the hard drive about just to let it spin up and do something. But I don't really take them out and then I delete the files then. That's one done there. Yeah. You know, but I don't really you know, everything's done through this machine. The laptop at the back there, uh, that's just so that I can monitor the chat while I'm over there. But everything's done through this machine, so I won't change it. I won't do anything to that changes it while it's working. If I have a problem and I have to, I have to flatten it, to, I have to flatten it, reformat it in other words if it has to get flattened uh, and I have to start again then I'll probably try 11 um, but you know I don't I've, I don't see the need at this point in time to do that because this is it's like XP I stuck with XP for as long as right from the beginning I was probably one of the first users to use XP and I used it right from the beginning right until they discontinued it. Um, but I did have other hard drives and I did try other various, other versions of the operating systems and none of them were as good as XP. Uh, but uh, I put Windows 10 on it after XP. When I, built, when I did this build I put Windows 10 on it. And... Uh, I I haven't looked back since, I'll be honest with you guys. It's worked flawlessly and perfectly. You know, always. It's I don't have a problem. Uh, yeah, this has got two yeah, yeah, this has got two uh two D V D ROMs in it. Uh D V D readers, uh, writers even. Yeah, this has got two DVD writers in it, as well as uh, three mechanical drives and a solid state drive. Uh, one of my mechanical drives, uh, uh, the one called Data, that's got a problem with the SATA cable. The trouble is I can't remember which one it is. Uh, I think it's the Itachi one, but I'm not sure. So, I have not bothered messing with it. Every now and again the drive disappears. It might not even be there now. Let's have a look. See if it's there now. Sometimes it just comes and goes. YouTube is not receiving enough. Yeah, whatever. Let's close that. There we are. Now we've gone back to normal. Uh, let's just close this. Let's see, if, see, if, see, if, see, if, see if the data drives there now. Let's call it data because there's all sorts of shit there. Yeah, data, it's there now. Yeah, we've got we've got Windows C, we've got a D drive which is a partition on Windows C, uh, which has got nothing on it. It's got something on it, probably the file allocation table, because it just shows new folder, and there's nothing in there. And if I go to hidden, if I can. No, there's nothing doesn't show anything, so stuff there I can't access. Uh, then I've got games, which has got OBS on it, uh, the the structure, uh, not the structure, it's got the folder for that, it's got the files, or a copy of all my YouTube videos in there. And we've got, uh, we've got all my games on there, there's a downloads folder there. Uh, then we've got new volume, which I've not really named it yet, and that's working. Uh, let's have a look at data. That's the one that usually doesn't want to comply. And it's probably not going to because it's taking its time. Yeah, it's not going to. Really. Oh, it has. Uh, it has, and there's the, the, the stuff on there. Uh, there's all sorts of crap on there. I mean, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, uh, what 
actually in here. There's all sorts in here, radio servicing. I've got that copied in case I have a problem. YouTube, there are YouTube vids as well. And what I was doing, I was putting everything in order in its own folder, but I decided against it because it turned out to be a pain in the ass. So I decided against it and just left everything as it is. But some of that, but some of them, yeah, there's, yeah, there's, uh, they need to be got rid of, to be honest. That folder needs to be got rid of because, yeah, I'm not doing that. I'll wait until I check it thoroughly. Make sure wheelie dealers, there's some of them on there. Downloads. I don't know what's in here. Well, I've still got there's Colombo, but the new crap. Elvis Presley's Jim Reeves. What else is in there? There's all sorts. Uh, tell you what, I did lose, and I'm really disappointed. I lost my, uh, oh there's Windows 98 boot disk, Windows 7 home, Windows 98 second edition, there's all sorts of stuff in here guys, Microsoft Office, I don't really bother that, uh, it's installed on here. No, I can't. I did have, uh, I don't know where they've gone, I did have some, I did have some movies. wonder where they've gone. wonder if it's in this one. No, it's not in this one. What's in that? I put a new folder there. There are videos. Their videos can't understand what they're doing in there. I'm going to have to go through this fucking thing. Their YouTube videos. Uh, so we're looking at games one. That's got an applicator, that's got a downloads folder in it as well. It's only fucking Windows 98 I see in it. Uh, I did have one with applications. Uh, I can't remember where that is. I'm just looking guys, let's just move back, I'll go come back to you lot in a minute, let's go back to data, applications, there should be a folder called applications, and I can't find it, that's not it, oh yeah apps is here, Audio, video, games, utilities. They're on me, what do you call it, Sam? No, that's on me, shit. Uh, but I lost. I lost a load of stuff. But I did have a problem of I then the Mildred one of me memory sticks and when I got it back I don't know what the fucking happened but it called to write to my computer a right headache and I lost a load of stuff. It's in here somewhere but I've not been able to find it. So anyway I'm gonna leave it there guys. 
Uh, I have a few DOS machines. It's a DOS that I still use to program frequencies on my Motorola P300 transceivers. Uh, right, I'm going to leave it there, guys. And uh, like I say every night, if anybody wants to buy me a coffee, feel free. If you don't want to buy me a coffee, still feel free. You all take it easy, guys. And remember, everything you see on here is free. You'll never be told to go elsewhere and pay for anything. I'm not like that. You all take it easy and join me again tomorrow. Bye for now. Yeah, there's scraps coming in right at the end, look. <laughs> I'll catch you later, guys. Bye for now. And ladies, by the way, catch you later. Bye for now. <laughs>